Yeah, I make decisions to glow. Ridiculous flow, potential to glow. Peace and love, everybody. It is Monday morning. Um, Y'all don't even understand how my body is feeling right now. So, um, I should have vlogged yesterday, but I didn't. Anyways, um, my cousin just moved into her first house. And um, I went down there to help her. And it was really nice. Like, her house, everything is really nice. But first, I went to breakfast yesterday with my sisters. It was very yummy. Um, and then after we left from there, we went to the thrift store. And I got a few things. Um, nothing major. Um, I'll show y'all actually what I got. Uh, I have so much to tell y'all. But first, what I got from the from the thrift store. First of all, as y'all know, my niece's birthday is this weekend and my sister is throwing her a girl sleepover kind of deal. Um, I'm very excited about it. It's gonna be like a hotel theme, spa day, little get together feng shui. It's gonna be super cute. She bought all of this super cute stuff for them, but <clears throat> the parents and TT, of course, is gonna be there, you know, to just kind of help the girls out. So it's gonna be me, my sister, my cousin that just moved, and um, my oldest sister. And so we got like matching outfits. Thanks to Miss um, Mommy Minx, she bought everybody these matching little short sets from Target, which I think is so stinking cute. I'm so excited to wear it. I got mine in a large so that I can wear mine as I get bigger with the pregnancy. But I just wanted to show y'all that she gave it to me yesterday. Then I got these little stretchy like type night pants. Um, just something comfortable that I can throw on around the house or just wherever. You know, if I'm running out, just wherever. I needed more pants or bottoms for real. Um, especially since I'm not working anymore, so... It's not like I wear jeans anyway. Like, I have one pair of jeans that I was given. And they're the best pair of jeans. I have threw all of my other clothes away. So, you know, I don't have many clothes left. But I'm about to get rid of some more clothes because I'll tell you about it in a minute. But then I found this cute little bag satchel. Um, of course, you know, this is just my style. But this cute little satchel here that I can put all kinds of little stuff in. I like to carry my water in this, ice water. Um, I'll take this with me everywhere. But now that I'm pregnant, I get hungry a lot. And I've noticed that because I don't eat meat, nothing really sticks. So even when I'm just like eating like normally for myself, I'm still feeling nauseous. So I have to overeat in order to kill the nausea um, and to not make myself feel extra sick. But... Um, but it's actually been working. I also added a few other things to my diet. Some more fatty stuff, you know. Um, I'm not really proud about it, but I'm still fixing my own food for the most part, so it's not like I'm eating a lot of processed foods. Also, you guys are gonna get a video of me fixing my collard greens, salmon, and I'm probably gonna do like some yellow rice or something um, later on today. But this right here, this cute little satchel, I was so happy when I found this. I got it for $4. I couldn't leave it. But I needed this because I actually got rid of a lot of my bags. They were ripped up and tattered when I cleaned my truck out. So I was like, let me just get me a new bag that I can carry with me this whole entire pregnancy. I can put my snacks in this. Whatever I need for real. Um, I got this book right here. They actually have a lot of books in the thrift store. If you go to the thrift store and you check out their book section, they have a lot of good books. But I really um, haven't been reading like novels for real. And I just really wanted to tap in a little bit. And this right here is a book called um, You Are Enough. And it's like it was just perfect for me. But anyways, it just like I'm going to read the chapters to you so you can kind of get an idea of the type of book that it is. But um, chapter one, 
when you lose yourself, you find yourself. Chapter two, one mon mon one Monday Monday. Sorry, I can't even talk. Like, if I tell y'all how my night went, I'm gonna tell y'all in a minute. One morning, day, Monday morning. Okay, this Monday morning is not one for me. Okay, it's a rest day for sure. Um, your life will be different, but it will be amazing. Chapter four, looking for love. Chapter five, in 25 days. Chapter six, the boy upstairs. Chapter seven, losing myself. Chapter eight, why I'm still single. The ugly truth. Chapter nine, rock bottom. Chapter 10, Whiskey and Zoloft. Chapter 11, Finding Myself. Chapter um, Chapter 12, FAF. Chapter 13, The Time of My Life. Chapter 14, An Unexpected Apology. Chapter 15, When Love Dies. Chapter 16, Why We Cling to People Who Don't Love Us. Chapter 17, Moving On. Chapter 18, Church Chasers. Chapter 19, No One Else Can Leave chapter 20 let it be um and it's pretty much like um this is what it says um the epilogue says the journey to enough is never over with gratitude it's pretty cool um and then they give you an appendix for suicide prevention but it's kind of like a book like a novel almost so somebody is sharing things with you which I thought was pretty dope. I was like, I have to get this book. And then the cover is super cute. Nothing's on it. I'm sure it had like, um, you know, the paper cover. But it does say you are enough right here. But I just thought this was so cute. I was like, I have to get this book. It was only a dollar. So I got that. I needed a new novel to read or to tap into. Um, this is probably my favorite thing that I got. It was $7. And it's like a shirt slash dress slash jogger hoodie. It has strings on it. It has pockets. So it's really cute. Um, I thought this was just really cute. I couldn't leave it. And then I know that it's going to stretch as I get bigger. So this will probably be like my go-to. Um, one of my go-to things. I have a lot of stretchy stuff anyway. Um, and bigger clothes anyway because I just like to be loose and free. I don't like to feel tight and confined. And who the hell am I wearing tight clothes for, for real? So a lot of my stuff is a little bit loose anyway and drapes off my body. But that right there is just something that I can throw on regularly. And then I got these pants here. They are just some loose, active pants. They go down to the ground. Um, just very comfortable, regular black stretch. These were $2.00. Um, with the drawstrings in them very comfy nothing major and then this was like my favorite I really wanted this so bad it's like the last thing that I got but it is a pajama set I paid five dollars for this pajama set and it just came with this cute little top right here and these matching pajama pajama bottoms. Everything has to be washed because it stinks like old. But these were super cute. And they kind of have the scrunchies at the end of the legs. But they have these little skeletons and these moons on them. I thought this was so cute. Um, these skulls and stuff on them. I thought this was cute. So, And plus, it's a little matching pajama set. I like to wear pajama sets out if they match. Just throw on my jean jacket or, you know, a little hoodie. Some tennis shoes. Or some slides. And go about your day, honey. Who, who's going to know what you're doing? You know what I'm saying? Unless they got the same set. But I purchased this. It's very comfortable. The material is really, really soft. So, yeah. But I really wanted to come on here and share with you guys a few things. First of all, I feel like I've been hit by a bus. I didn't even do a lot of work yesterday, but I was on my feet all day yesterday from about, it was at least eight hours that I was on my feet. Trying to help, trying to be of assistance, excuse me, trying to be of assistance during the move. And then I also went down there because I was getting rid of some dressers here at my house because we're moving, yay. We're moving, we got approved for another apartment and it's still a luxury apartment. It's actually better than the one we're in right now. Um, I don't even know how we sealed this deal, but it's better than the one we're in right now. 
but I don't know if I was telling you guys, we're paying like close to $1,000 in this one. And we just really needed to downsize, first of all, so that we can save more money. Secondly, so that we can um, just put ourselves in a better position in general. Um, so we've been looking to downsize. I looked at house after house after house only for the houses to turn up to be properties that they were selling instead of renting but they had it listed as a rental property um in the price range that i was looking for so then i started you know looking at other properties and i started just feeling almost sick to my stomach to think that i would have to go back to where we were living before this i don't know if i told you guys but the living conditions at the first house that we moved to when we first moved out here was not ideal but we were paying only $495 a month for a two-bedroom house, two-bedroom, one-bathroom house. And it wasn't in like a terrible part of town, but it wasn't like the best part of town either. I've noticed though that I've heard more gunshots and seen the police more living over here than I have over there. And these apartments are supposed to be considered like a, you know, a nice area we were around a lot of commercial things we're like five minutes from hotels matter of fact we're like you, you can literally walk over and be at hampton walk over and be at the fairfield walk over and be at the hilton like all of that stuff is sitting right there um and then you have like a cvs a sheets tj max um marshall's five below all of this stuff is like two minutes away from us literally a big ass shopping center two minutes away so we didn't realize that it would be like this crazy over here but you know we've never been bothered or messed with or anything like that the only thing that was really weird was um somebody spray painted like um it was like gang related or something and you know it just kind of rubbed us wrong because we know you know um had like the year 1944 and it was definitely related to the neo-nazis and it was a swastika and all of this other stuff but didn't even want to go into that because honestly a swastika is not a bad thing the actual symbol itself was stolen but that's a whole nother story okay anyways um this neighborhood that we're in right now it's not like perfect a lot of stuff has happened over here there was even a drive-by shooting over here but there are people that you know have a decent amount of money that live over here like middle class i guess you would say um but yeah no so this new place that we are moving is definitely um they are definitely luxury apartments but your cable and internet is included um which we didn't have here and we're paying close to a hundred and something dollars for internet and cable well not cable just internet by itself here where we're at so we're gonna move and um take advantage of that which will put us at you know paying less um than we are right here right now and then trash is also included you don't have to worry about an extra fee like as here if you put anything out there that is over a you know size and they know that it came from you you get a bill um so couches or anything like that like bigger size furniture um you can throw your stuff away but you are still being charged monthly a 15 dollar fee that you see in your um waste management um on your bill so all of that stuff will be included at the new place um if i'm not mistaken i thought i put in for a one bedroom one bath this new place does still have a fireplace um and we'll be under a thousand dollars you know what i'm saying even if we um even with um the lights and water included we'll still be under a hundred dollars so i'm very grateful for that and i definitely have to still call my um well today i'm gonna go and look at it so i was gonna give you guys a little sneak peek if they let me into the apartment they told me that it wouldn't be ready for us until later this week so the 29th is our actual move-in day um my house is a mess okay i've been trying to organize things but my body is over talking me a little bit and i'm so exhausted from yesterday um today is definitely going to be a major rest day i'm not going to do too much in here um and then two my cousin is going to give us some boxes from her move so as she's unpacking things and getting things in her apartment she's going to sit the boxes to the side i'm going to go down there and pick those up and I've just been, you know, throwing stuff away, getting rid of stuff I know I'm not taking with me because we are coming, going from a two-bedroom apartment here to one-bedroom there. We're going to have to majorly downsize. 
a lot like it's a lot of stuff in this apartment and then i bought so much new stuff you know since we moved here from the last place i just really wanted to make this home um and it's it's very beautiful here i love it i'm not gonna lie i absolutely love the skylights i wish i could take them with me but i can't um and my plants love them too love it too but you know we're gonna make it work at the new place i'm very excited about the new start um this is where we're gonna be for the baby this is where we're gonna be after the baby for a bit um so you know um we will not be leaving this place because i am signing a 12 month lease until january next year this time that's when we'll be done um at the place we're at right now and then two this is going to give me the opportunity because i'm i don't see myself ever going back to work another job i'm just going to be honest with you guys um i was watching a video that carlos introduced to me last night and it just kind of put a lot of things into perspective for me a little bit i think i'm gonna have to rewatch a lot of that video because i was so tired i was falling asleep during the video and I wasn't able to receive the message that was given but i received enough to know that i can study anything that i put my mind to and master it you know what i'm saying and get to a point where i know the ins and out of whatever it is i'm seeking to um learn and be good about you know what i'm saying so i'm not going back to school or anything like that but i'm just going to teach myself um the the art of i guess the stock market um and a few other things that are just going to bring in money with the energy that I generate, the time that I put into it, and we're gonna go from there. And I mean, like, when I study something, or I put my mind to something, and I master it, it's like, I have a master's degree in whatever that is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need to know everything about it. <clears throat> I need to know everything about it. I have a notebook full of information about it. And it's like when I teach myself, or when I'm learning something, so, I'm, I'm well, I'll show you guys when I start to really delve into it, how I teach myself, how to do certain things or how to learn stuff because even like with sewing and you know um crocheting and just simple shit like that i've taught myself the ins and outs to it and i catch on so quickly i just take the freak off you know what i'm saying like on a whole nother level but this right here is going to be a little bit different because there is a little bit of math involved and it does take a lot of your attention you know to consider constantly know how to move your money constantly know how to um work the system so i'm definitely going to um pick that up and start doing that so that we can really start generating some real money and flipping money to the point where we don't have to worry about like honestly y'all y'all know how i am like when it comes to trying to figure out how to fit myself into this socialized sensitivity i mean i'm sorry this socialized um I don't even know like I'm still my I think I'm honestly still a little bit delusional I'm not gonna lie to y'all because I'm so tired like I, when I say I feel like I've been hit by a bus like I didn't even move nothing I was just on my feet but my titties are hurting they feel like they've been hanging to my kneecaps all day my arms are hurting my feet my back all of that and you know me and my oldest sister she's way further along than I am but we were a honey child, I'm telling you. Yesterday was a mess for us. Between eating every five minutes, I don't know what was going on for real. Like, I, I've been so hungry. And it's like, if I stay up on the hunger, no nausea. So right now, I'm not nauseous at all. I'm not nauseous at all. I do have a little bit of a stuffy nose. I feel myself about to get maybe like a little bit of a cold. So I'm going to try and knock that out before I even start feeling any of that. Um, go put my head over some steam with some rosemary and some oregano and some other things that I can inhale to allow myself to let this mucus go, honey. And it's going to go quickly. But um, I can definitely feel myself getting a little... <laughs> so I'm going to fix that today. Um, but I did a lot of work yesterday. We put together the girls' room because she had three little girls. And she fixed their room up so pretty. Okay, they already had cute little stuff anyway. But I guess they got like new comforters and stuff for Christmas and curtains and like little pictures and just all types of stuff. I am still going to take her. Um, I have a big picture that I would have had in my office in there. I'm going to take her that. It's like pink and gold and white. You guys have seen this picture several times. I'm going to take that to her. I'm going to take her that pink clock that I have. 
um, because I don't see myself using that stuff anymore. I'm done with it. So I thought I would give it to the girls. It go, it would go perfect in their room. Um, over the wall where their bed is, there was no pictures there, but we were able to put pictures everywhere else. And so um, it's, it turned out really beautiful. Um, I think if y'all check, I don't know. I don't know if Minx did a full vlog or not, but I know yesterday she vlogged our breakfast and think she might've did a little bit while we were at the thrift store. Um, and then, you know, she might've got a little bit as we were moving and stuff, but child, when I tell you, huh, I'm dreading the move for us. I'm not even going to lie to you because I didn't even do a lot of work and the way my body feels right now, it is really telling me to just rest and to just lay down and to not do anything at all today. So I'm definitely going to listen. Um, and then two with this little cold or whatever this is trying to push through. I really need to rest and just hydrate myself and stay out the way. So I'm going to do that. But I definitely have to go over to this apartment today. I need to go cash this change in because Carlos and I saved change from when we moved from our last place. I'm going to show you guys. So we saved change from when we moved from our last house. And, you know, if you go to the money machines that they have, like, in stores and stuff, they'll charge you a certain percentage of the money that you're actually putting in there for them to count it for you and to give you a little slip of paper that you can take to the register and they'll give you the cash but they're still taking part of your money just to count it for you in the machine i don't agree with that at all so what we do is keep all of our change and then we'll just go and oh we'll keep all of our change and then we'll go to the bank and ask them for the coin rows they will give them to you for free okay and you just put all of your money this is like old school i don't know some people's um grandparents probably did this a lot but you just put them inside of the money rolls it'll tell you it doesn't tell you how many go in each one you have to do the math but it'll tell you this one makes five dollars with dimes this one makes 50 cents with pennies two dollars with nickels and then the quarters you get ten dollars with the quarters so when you do the math and you do the breakdown of it, you'll know how many needs to go in each one. So this right here is filled up with these things and it ended up coming to $95.50. So I'm going to go deposit this into my bank account and it's just going to go part of my savings. As I was cleaning up and organizing, I found a whole bunch of change and then we also were collecting change in a bucket. You know, we always have a lot of change because we use a lot of cash um, when we go places, but this right here was probably just from last year between last year and now since we've moved um we accumulated that change so i would encourage everybody if you have change in your car um i cleaned all the change out of my car i actually cleaned my truck completely out i cleaned everything out really good but there's still more change in here that i've been finding as i'm cleaning more but i'm just going to go ahead and deposit this and we'll just start that new bucket again um and start dumping our change in there again and i'll just probably go through it later on next year sometime and see how much we accumulated but that's 95 dollars. that's like literally it's not free money because it's your money technically but if you save your change instead of giving it to the homeless or you know i'm not saying that not to do that but that's up to you that's your choice but um you know just throwing it out or just letting it accumulate and just sit there you can have some extra money in your pocket you don't even know it so Definitely clean your house out, find all your change, have a change bucket, and collect that money because over time it adds up. And we've done this like twice since we've been together. The first time, I can't really remember how much we had, but Carlos deposited into his bank account um, the first time. And then we actually got lucky because a guy was rooming with us at the last place right before we moved, and he left a big jar of change. Like, literally, it was like... um. You know one of those i can't even think but it's like one of those six gallon um bottles that people use for those water machines those water fountain machines he left one of those and it had a whole bunch of change in it but i don't even know what happened to it honestly but honestly it probably was a good 50 dollars in that um that he accumulated himself so definitely try and do that if you can just to save yourself some money and go turn those coins in because as you can see they are saying that there's a coin shortage but they're not opening up the bureau that actually produces coins they're no longer producing coins because the dollar is about to fall but that's another story 
Um, so get rid of your coins if you can um, and cash them in for um, actual money. Um, but yeah, that's that. Anyways, I'm definitely going to have to go do that today and go check out this apartment, sign my welcome papers, pay them um, to move in. And then I guess maybe she might let me see what it looks like. I'm hoping that she'll let me see like even an example um, of what the actual apartment looks like. I'm very excited. I'm so stinking excited. But I need to take care of myself. And yeah, this video was really just me talking. I should have vlogged yesterday, but I don't know what I was. I honestly don't know where my mind was at. I, every five minutes, I literally felt hungry. And we went and ate at IHOP. But I didn't eat good yesterday at all. The stuff that I ate yesterday was all processed food. It was all from, you know, me eating out because I literally was not at home. I was in a whole nother city, like 40 minutes from home. Um, so I was just trying to help everybody do everything as best as I could and also accommodate my baby because I was hungry, okay? Kita was hungry. Me and my older sister, we were smashing on everything we could find. Um, I had fruit snacks. I mean, literally, I was just smashing. I just needed something to eat, but I didn't feel nauseous at all yesterday. I mean, I did a little bit after I ate that um, those biscuits, but I went to the grocery store, well, to the gas station, and I filled my cup up. Well, I had filled it up with ice before I even left home yesterday. So I filled my cup up with some ginger ale, and it hit the spot perfectly and took away the nausea after I had ate that. But yeah, today I am going to fix later on. My collard greens have been soaking for two days, okay? Um, I went back and checked on them yesterday, but I'm going to move them around again today and clean out the water, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut those up and fix some salmon with them. So I'm going to show you how I fix my salmon and how I fix my collard greens, and yeah. Y'all, I gotta use the bathroom. I gotta go. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me in another video. And I will keep you guys updated on the move. I'm very excited. Um, packing up my house and all that good stuff. Okay. Peace. Bye.